there have been discussions about the selling of access to this material uh, to both newspaper outlets and other places. Uh, Mr. Comey, to the best of your knowledge, is fencing stolen material, is that a crime? Uh, yes, it is. And it would be the selling the access of classified material that is stolen from the United States government, is, would that be a crime? It would be. Uh, it, it, it's an issue that can be complicated if it involves a news gathering, a news promulgation function, but in general, uh, fencing or selling stolen property is a crime. So if I'm a newspaper reporter for fill in the blank, and I sell stolen material, is that legal because I'm a newspaper reporter? Right. If you're a newspaper reporter and you're hawking stolen jewelry, it's still a crime. And if I'm hawking stolen classified material that I'm not legally in possession of for uh, personal gain and profit, is that not a crime? I think that's a harder question because it involves a news gathering function, could have First Amendment implications. That's something that probably uh, would be better answered by the Department of Justice. So entering into a commercial enterprise to sell, sell stolen material is acceptable to a legitimate news organization? I'm not sure I'm able to answer that question in the abstract. Something we ought to think about, is it not? Certainly. And so if there are accomplices in purveying stolen information, shouldn't we be concerned about that? We should be concerned about all the facts surrounding the theft of classified information and its promulgation. Mm. And interesting, over the, again, the Munich conference where we had individuals tell us that, in fact, there are individuals who are, who are saying to be in possession of this information who are eager to sell this information to other news organizations. Would that be a legitimate exercise on behalf of a reporter? That's a question now you're getting from the general to the particular. I don't want to talk about the case in particular because it's an active investigation of ours. It's an active investigation for accomplices brokering and stolen information? We are looking at the totality of the circumstances around the, the theft and promulgation. That's very interesting.